Jesus. Father, Lord, we come here, Lord, today, oh God. Lord, to pray to you in the name of Jesus to seek your face. In the name of Jesus. God, we ask you right now that you would prepare us, uh, prepare our hearts, prepare our minds, oh Lord, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, to do your will, uh, Lord, today. Uh, to worship you, Lord, in spirit and in truth, oh God. Uh, that even though, Lord, some of us be, may be watching, oh God, uh, that we could still worship you in our homes. Uh, that we could still worship you, Lord, uh, in our homes, oh God. Uh, while we're watching uh, I pray a spirit of prayer to go forth uh, upon your people in the name of Jesus uh, that they would pray uh, and seek uh, your face uh, in the name uh, of Jesus that a spirit Lord of prayer and devotion would go out uh, in the name of Jesus. Ikelebo Soto. I pray, Lord, that your power would overflow in this service, that your will would be done in the name of Jesus. Lord, where two or three are gathered together in your name, you are in the midst. You are in the midst of us, God. You are here in this place. You dwell in this place. Lord, you are in every home that is watching. I pray right now that your power would begin to flow, flow through, Lord, every home, every building that the Lord is watching this live stream, that after this service, they would be touched by your spirit, by you, O oh God, that they would receive whatever you want them to receive in this place. Let your will to be done, your kingdom come, your agenda come, your will be done, your plan be done. Okata, loko de kiyanama, wherever you are, pray right now in the name of Jesus. Pray, with authority and a fervency. Ikelebo soto, ikeyanaya. It doesn't matter where you are at, you are the church. It doesn't matter where you're at, what physical location, you are the church. You are the church inside this building and outside. You are the church. You are the church. You are the church of the living God. He can pray right now as a body of Christ. Pray right now as a part of the body. Pray right now and begin to see. Come on, somebody. Plug into the Holy Spirit. Plug into what's going on. Ikea. God is moving in your household right now. God is touching you in your place right now. Ikelebo Soto. I pray a supernatural visitation to be in every home that is listening in the name of Jesus. Iketea, lift your voice where you are at. Begin to pray with authority in the name of Jesus. It doesn't matter if you're here or not. You're the church of the living God. You're the church of the living God. Your prayers are going to affect this nation. Your prayers and your devotion is going to make the difference. Oh God. I pray a spirit of prayer to be in this atmosphere. Oh, talk in tongues, somebody. Talk in tongues, somebody. God is going to touch you in this service. He's going to do mighty things and exploits through you in the name 
of Jesus. He's going to do mighty works. Ikiataka Sataya. Rekelemo Sodo. Iata. Lift your voice. Give God a, a shout of praise wherever you are. If you're in your home, if you're in your room, God deserves a shout of praise. Come on, church. You're the church. You're the church. Your prayers are going to make the difference. Your prayers are going to change the atmosphere. God inhabits the praises of his people. Come on. You're his people. You're his people. He's talking to you. He's talking to you. He's calling you to pray. He can live or the kataya. He goes on them. Lord, we're not too busy to pray. Lord, we're not too busy to pray. I got time. I give you my time. I give you my life. Whatever you have to do to get with God right now, do it in the name of Jesus. If you have to repent in order to feel a sensitivity, do it right now. I pray God that anything that is hindering your flow from flowing and operating in this place, I clear the debris right now in the name of Jesus. I knock it off. I cut myself loose from any sin that's hindering me, God, from hearing your voice, from obeying you, from doing your will. Somebody, you may not be here physically, but you still are the church, you are the temple of God, He dwells in you, He is in you, He lives inside of you. Activate that gift, let it be made manifest operate right now in the name of Jesus unlock the gift that's inside of you use it in the name of Jesus use it in the name of Jesus you're not too busy to pray you're not too busy to worship can someone give God an apostolic authoritative prayer Give him an apostolic authority prayer. Lord, in the name of Jesus, begin to bind, begin to loose, begin to declare. Lord God, Anasataya. God is going to move in this place. God, you're going to do mighty things in the name of Jesus. So if you are watching right now and you need a miracle, you need it and you need it with a desperation, I pray right now that the will of God would be done in your situation right now. I pray, Lord, that you would answer that prayer, that call in the name of Jesus according to your will. If you're here on the live stream and you're dealing with bondage and you're dealing with pain and anxiety, I pray in the spirit right now. I command every thought of anxiety to leave your home, to leave your household, to leave your life. I command Lord God the spirit of fear to be cast out of your home to be cast out of where you live out of your job out of your household out of your life wherever you go that you would no longer live in fear but in power and in love and of a sound mind God's giving it to you right now God's giving you that spirit of love and humility he's giving it to you right now he can't 
This is our prayer service and rightly dedicated to pray for our nation, to pray for those that are sick, to expect healing, and to believe that God is still on the throne and that God still, He is still merciful and He is still loving and He still hears prayers. I said, he still hears your prayers. Would you believe that right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ? Oh, the prayers of a righteous man and a righteous woman in a veil much. In a veil much. It does a lot. It accomplishes a lot. Oh, that's why we pray in the name of the Lord Jesus. We pray that God would incline his ear upon this place, upon the place where you're at praying, upon the place where you're at worshiping. 
Amen. As promised in Second Chronicles, that he will be attentive to the prayers, to the cries. Pray in the house of God, and you are the house of God. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. For the Lighthouse Church this coming Saturday, this coming Saturday is our Lake Forest Connect Group. You should have gotten an email from the church giving you instructions for those of you that have never logged in or not familiar with Facebook Messenger. We will be video conferencing everybody and we will have our Connect Group through Facebook Messenger. If you did not get an email or if you need any technical assistance, please reach out to us, text, email us, and we will help you along in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I want to thank all of those that have tuned in last Sunday. Amen. I pray you were blessed by the Word of God. Uh, and we will invite you this coming Sunday again uh, to tune into Facebook Live and we will be broadcasting live. Uh, then uploading it. It's also available on YouTube uh, and on the church's page, webpage, stlh.org. Uh, just go to the sermons page Sunday or Wednesday and you could listen just to the audio on the website. In Jesus' name. I want Sister Chica to come and greet you. Amen. We are thankful for all of you, faithful people of God. Just want to greet you all, and I love you, and always praying a covering over you. Thank you, church, for your faithfulness. I am rejoicing that we were able to cover all the time slots for a 24-hour chain, and I want to thank each and every one of you for your participation, and as we bind together, God can do great things, and he can hear our prayers and I want to also say special thanks to those of you who have signed up to pray an extra hour thank you thank you so much and those who have signed up also to pray at the odd hours when everybody else is asleep I bless you in Jesus name I know we started early this morning and we are going to continue on even after this prayer service there's going to be continual prayer through tomorrow morning till six in the morning. But you don't have to stop there praying. So thank you for covering the church body in prayer. And we're gonna pray um, for our nation. We're gonna continue to pray for our nation, but I bless you in the name of Jesus. Thank you. you join us right now we're going to be praying amen and we will be praying for these things one we will be praying for the will of God regarding our nation what's happening in our nation number two we will be praying that God would spare the one God apostolic people from this virus and then we're going to pray for our nation that God would continue to lead the president all the way down to the state officials and governors that God would lead them as they make decisions that would affect and is affecting all of our lives in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah so right now where you're at, we're going to begin our prayer time. Amen. I want to ask you to repent in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Would you repent right now in the name of Jesus Christ? Hallelujah, God. In the name of Jesus. We pray right now, Lord. God, we pray right now in the name of Jesus Christ. That you would, oh God, help us. That you would, oh Lord, forgive us in the name of Jesus. Father, in Jesus' name, wash us right now. Wash us right now in the name of Jesus. Wash us right now in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Second Chronicles 7, 14 says, If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves, would you humble yourself right now? Would you begin to repent wherever you're at? In Jesus' name. Forgive us, O Lord, of attitudes. Forgive us, O Lord, of the fleshly tendencies, O God. Forgive us, O Lord, of our frailty. Easily swayed. Easily dissuaded. God, easily distracted. God, the fickleness of the mind. Lord, the carnal mind that is an enmity, an enemy of God. Oh, it's not subject, neither indeed can be to the law of God. Forgive us, Lord, of thoughts that are not pleasing unto you. Come on, somebody, in your living room at this hour. If we need anything else, if we need to do anything, it is to humble ourselves. It is to repent. Oh, for the man or the woman that thinks he does not have any sin, he lies, and the truth is not in him. So would you repent of your sin right now? God, sins of the mind, sins of our words, and sins of our actions in the name of Jesus. Lord, we humble ourselves. We humble ourselves in the name of Jesus. If we confess our sins, He is just and faithful to forgive us of all our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Forgive me, O God. Forgive me, O Lord, of my tendencies. Forgive me, O Lord, of my carnality, O God. Forgive me, O Lord, of lust. Forgive me, O Lord, of covetousness, O God. Forgive me, O Lord. Yeah. We come as we are, O oh God, at the foot of the cross, needing your blood, needing the covering of your blood, needing your salvation, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I want to invite you not only to repent of your own sins, but I want to invite you to repent of the sins of your neighborhood, to repent for the sins of your cities, to repent of the sins of your county and your state, and even the whole nation. If you look at some of the prophets of Israel in the Old Testament, when they repented, they did not only repent for their own sins, but they repented for the sin of Israel as if uh, they committed it themselves. Uh, hallelujah, for we are all in this together. This pandemic, uh, amen, lets everybody know uh, that we are all just frail humanity that needs forgiveness from the Almighty God. It doesn't matter rich or poor or in whatever you're at or whatever you're attained in society. It all humbles everybody in the whole world. So would you repent right now for your city, for your neighborhood, for your county, for your state, for your nation in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, your word says if we humble ourselves, if we repent to God, especially the people of the name, then you will hear from heaven. Forgive us, Lord. Forgive us, O oh Lord, of taking your name in vain, O oh God. Forgive us, O oh Lord, God, of all the abortions.
actions that's being done in this nation, O oh Lord. God, forgive us, O oh Lord, of all the envy and the infighting, O oh God, and the jealousies, O oh Lord, and all sexual sins, O oh God, and murders and riotous living, O oh Lord. Oh, we seek your mercy, O oh God. We seek your mercy in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, we seek your forgiveness in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, we repent even for the, all this whole nation, oh God. Lord, we repent even for the whole world. Every knee will bow. Every tongue will confess that Jesus is the Lord. That's happening in different parts of the world now. People out in the streets on their knees crying out for mercy. Would you, the people of God, would you want God apostolic? Would you begin to repent of your sins? Would you begin to repent for the sins of this nation? Forgive us, Lord, of taking your name in vain. God, forgive us, O Lord. Forgive us, O King. Forgive us, O King. Forgive our nation. Forgive our nation, O Lord. We humble ourselves. We humble ourselves. Hear us from heaven. Hear us from heaven. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Lord, in Jesus' name. Forgive us, Lord, of our iniquity. Forgive us of iniquity, God, the sin that Lucifer was found guilty of. Iniquity. Iniquity is self-will. Iniquity is treating God as just an option. Iniquity is ignoring God. I pray through this pandemic that you have not ignored the Lord. I pray that through this time, amen, that you have dedicated yourself and even took a time for introspection of how you pray and why you pray. For prayer is not a task that is completed, but it is communion with God. It is seeking the face of the Lord uh, and continually praying without ceasing, uh, not ignoring God. God will not be ignored. He's not tolerating that anymore. Lord, forgive us, O oh God, of iniquity. Lord, forgive us of giving you even just an hour of the day. That's not enough. That is not prayer. That's simply clocking in an obligation. That's not pleasing to the Lord. That is iniquity. If you pray just one hour a day, that is commendable. But what about the rest of the day? What about the rest of your time? Are you Lord of that time? Or is God the Lord of that time? Do you seek His will? Come on, somebody, would you begin to seek the will of God right now? In the name of Jesus, Lord, let not be iniquity found in me. Let not iniquity be found in me, O God. Yo 
Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We pray for our nation, oh God. We pray for those that are in authority. The Bible says to pray for those that are in authority. Amen. That we may live a quiet and peaceable life. For that is good and acceptable in the sight of God. We pray for our president. We pray for the task force. Amen. That he has assembled. That they make the right decisions, O oh Lord. And what we're hearing in the news, O oh God. That are looking towards the end of this month. The open parts of the nation, O oh Lord. God, we pray for our economy. That it would bounce back. We pray, O oh Lord, for the governor of the state of California. Come on, would you pray right now? Come on, join me in prayer right now. Don't just listen, but engage. Pray, God is calling us to prayer. Whatever your state is, would you pray for your governor? Whatever state official is making a decision or decisions that affect you and your loved ones and the church, would you pray for them right now? We pray, O oh Lord, for Gavin Newsom, O oh God, the governor of this great state of California, a nation state, O oh Lord, eighth largest economy in the world oh God I pray right now that you would lead him that you would guide him that you would give him foresight oh Lord I pray your spirit to, to move upon him oh God I pray for your spirit oh Lord God to lead him and guide him and those around him that influences him oh God let them set aside politics oh Lord Unite our nation, O oh God, against this pandemic, O oh Lord. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release, Lord, wisdom upon them. I release, O oh God, the spirit of wisdom to move upon them in the name. Let the wisdom from above that is first peaceable, easily entreated, rest upon them, Lord. Rest upon, rest upon every individual, O oh God, that have authority, that makes decisions, O oh Lord, that affects this land. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for South Orange County, oh God. I pray for Orange County, Lord. God, that you would keep your hand upon your people in this county, oh God. Lord, that you would not allow the virus to take the life of anyone, oh Lord. God, not one more, one God apostolic person. In the name of Jesus, we thank you, oh God, for those that have recovered. We thank you, oh Lord, for the good reports that we're hearing of those that have recovered. I pray, Father, I pray right now, oh God. Oh, I pray in sincere humility, Lord, believing you, God, having faith in you, and making my petition known, that God, no more, one God apostolic, that would lose their life over this virus. Do it for your name's sake, O King. Do it for your name's sake, O King. In the name of Jesus, even as we humble ourselves. Do it for your name's sake, oh God. I pray for every individual, oh Lord, at the lighthouse. I pray for every family, oh God, at the lighthouse. In the name of Jesus, I pray, oh Lord, for every person. Oh, in the one God apostolic community. In the name of Jesus Christ, I plead your precious blood. I plead your powerful blood upon them, O oh God, in Jesus' name. 
I pray, Father, love for Mother Eli Hernandez, oh God. Lord, that's in the hospital right now. Lord, I speak strength into his lungs right now in the name of Jesus. Somebody join me in prayer. Somebody join me with your faith. Somebody join me believing, not just out of love, not just out of sympathy, but with faith. For without faith, oh, we cannot please God. Lord, so we believe in you. Even as we pray, we believe that you can do exceeding abundantly above all that we ask or think according to the Holy Ghost power that is in us. I release strength in the lungs of Brother Hernandez, oh God. I speak health into his lungs, into his body. I speak health into his lungs right now. I release healing. I release the miraculous. Let angels, Lord, angelic visitations come into his room. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord. In the name of Jesus. Would you release your faith with what you prayed for so far? Would you release your faith? Come on, wherever you're at. Hallelujah. Would you release your faith? Oh, make your prayers with faith. Faith in the name. Faith in Jesus Christ. Faith in His Word. All the words that you've heard through preaching, through studying. Release it. Release the faith. He can da da na na mo ko shate. He can da da na 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 mo ko shata la maye. Hallelujah, 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 God. We thank you, O Lord. We thank you, O Lord. Saints. Let us pray for our dear sister Hernandez. Let's pray rest upon her body since she has not been able to sleep. Rest upon her soul, the peace of God upon her. Let's pray, let's join together for this woman of God in the name of Jesus, Yoroko Yashaha. In the name of Jesus, by the power of your name, Lord, by the authority of your word, we lose rest, rest upon Sister Hernandez right now. In the name of Jesus, we bind the spirit of weariness off of her, off of her mind, her body, her soul. Let her feel your peace, oh God. In her spirit, I pray. 
Jesus, we agree in unity, in one accord. Those of you that are watching, agree in one accord right now that God would heal and that he would restore and that he would send peace that passeth all, all understanding in all comprehension that peace would go to the family of the Hernandezes, oh God, that you would give every single one of them peace, peace that passes understanding, peace, Lord, that passes comprehension. Agree in unity. Agree in unity. Lord, we believe in one another touching anything, oh God, that, Lord, it will be done in the name of Jesus according to your will. God, you are a God of miracles. You are a miracle worker. You are a miracle worker. I lose faith in that room right now in the name of Jesus. I lose faith. I lose peace. I lose your power and your love to be in that very room right now. That your angels, Lord, would come and minister unto them because they are ministering spirits. That brother Hernandez's angel would come in his room right now. At this very moment, we believe in angelic visitations. We pray that that angel would visit him at this very time, at this very place. Something is shifting. He ought to plug in. For those of you who are watching, plug in. For those of you who are watching, Lord, believe in your miracle. Believe in your miracle. He's a God of miracles. We believe in faith that you're able and that you are willing to heal, restore, deliver, restore, revive, replenish. God can restore your life right now. God can restore you. I don't know who I'm talking to right now, but he can restore you and he will restore you in the name of Jesus. If you know who you are, lift up your hands right now and begin to declare, begin to declare your healing. God's gonna touch you right now and deliver you from thoughts of doubt, pain, anguish, chaos in the name of Jesus. Right now, church, I'll create unity for healing in the name of Jesus. Healing to take place. You know who you are. God has singled out you. I pray, Lord God, that you would give her godly thoughts to replace, Lord, the ones that are ungodly. Thoughts that are troubling in the name of Jesus. We command them to subside. We command them to cease. In the name of Jesus. Worship God in advance. Worship God in advance. You didn't hear me. Worship God in advance in your home, wherever you are. There's power that's flowing and authority that's moving. There's authority here. There's authority in your home. There's authority where you're at. Thank you, Lord, oh God.
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yoroko Yashira. Right now, right now, I want us to pray the calm or refreshing tongues because we're going to hit harder in the name of Jesus in intercession. So, I want us to give a little rest as we pray the refreshing tongues. What is the refreshing tongues? That is when you pray in tongues, but you don't give out your emotions. It's not the war tongues, we'll do that later. It's not the travail tongues, and it's not the worship tongues, the joyful tongues, but it's refreshing tongues. Let us now pray refreshing tongues to give us strength as we're going to hit harder in intercession in a few more minutes. Refreshing tongues, receive strength of the Lord. As you pray in tongues, and imagine that his living water is filling you. You're receiving. Receive. Anytime you feel tired when you're praying and you've been praying a lot, just do the refreshing tongues. That's right. Let him strengthen you. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Receive his strength. And you can meditate upon his word as you do this. Yoroko Yeshira, upon his goodness, Yara Kisira, upon his faithfulness, Yoroko Yeshira. Thank you, Lord, for the strength that I feel, O God. Thank you for the renewal that I feel, O God, in my spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, Yoroko Yeshira. Yara Kira Yeshira. Yoroko Yeshira. Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. As we pray for our president, as we pray God's covering upon him, I know the Lord is leading him in making certain decisions. And as we pray that covering, I am assured that he's doing the Lord's will. Amen? As the church intercedes for him, and his team, every part of his team, to make the right decisions at the right time. And we will continue to do this. But I feel led, as the president has instructed us to do certain things. He has his physical strategy, right? Physical strategy and in, in our county, the they call it the sheltering place and only small groups to meet or social distancing. I wanna say that it is time we execute our strategy, amen? Our spiritual strategy. And I'm gonna share with you as the Lord has impressed upon my spirit. And I wanna do this as a body, amen? I want you to join with me our spiritual strategy, and then we will continue to cover him in prayer. But we have a powerful, powerful way also in Jesus' name. Last Sunday, we prayed for our homes, amen? We prayed a covering over our homes for God's blood to cover, to, to protect your household as we go in and out of the house. Every time you wake up in the morning, 
Acknowledge that covering. Say, thank you, Jesus. I claim that covering. I plead your blood upon my household. You name the people in your home. You plead the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. And as Brother Dylan said, we have the authority. Amen. We have that covering, but you claim it every morning. Acknowledge that. Tell the Lord I receive that covering upon my household in Jesus' name. Church, you have the authority and you have that power in the name of Jesus. You are, amen, a child of God. And you need to exercise that in the name of Jesus. Now, right now, I want you to pray for your neighborhood, right? Your neighborhood right now. If it's easy to pray in tongues, pray in tongues. In the name of Jesus, I want you to pray in tongues, actually. Yes, speak to your neighborhood. Yoroko Yashera. I plead your blood, Lord, over my neighborhood, oh God, on Lantern Lane, oh God. Yoroko Yashera. In the surrounding streets, oh God. I pray your covering. Pray covering in the name of Jesus, covering upon them against this virus in the name of Jesus. You have the authority, Yoroko Yashera, to keep your neighborhood safe in the name of Jesus. Yoroko Play the blood over your street. Name your street. If you can remember the street surrounding it, name the streets. Lord, we pray, oh God, covering over our neighborhood in the name of Jesus. As we pray over our house, pray, plead the blood over your neighborhood in the name of Jesus. We plead your blood, oh God, over our neighborhood, every house in our neighborhood, oh God, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, yes, it is time for intercession. Exercise that. In the name of Jesus, intercede. So you will be safe as well. In the name of Jesus. Now, right now, I want you to pray. Those who are working, those who have work, amen? Pray for your places of employment right now. The same way we did with your homes. Plead the blood of Jesus. You're covering over them right now. Pray. Pray for your place of employment in Jesus' name. And for the children, for the kids, pray for your schools. In the name of Jesus, the physical building, the name of your school, in the name of Jesus. Pray right now, intercede. Plead the blood. You have the authority over your workplace, over your school. In the name of Jesus, pray covering, covering over that building, over your office, wherever it is. Speak it, name it in the name of Jesus. I pray you're covering over my husband's work, he turns. In the name of Jesus, I plead your blood over that company, that building, every employee. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood over Dana's place of employment, grocery outlet. In Jesus' name, I pray you're covering over that store, oh God. Covering protection, oh God, against this virus. In the name of Jesus, I pray covering over Dylan's school in Santa Ana. Student Center, in the name of Jesus, upon every teacher, upon every student in that place, in the name of Jesus, you're covering. Name your company, name your workplace, name your school. Plead the blood, church. Plead the blood. You have the authority. Speak it in the name of Jesus. Yoroko Yasha. Hiyanaki Yashara. Yoroko Yama Yasha. Hiyanaki Yashara. Yoroko Yashara. Hiyanaki Yashara. Let's keep being interceding. Yanaki Yashara. Yoroko Yashara. As you go in warfare tongues, you are binding. Do a warfare tongues. Yoroko Yashaha. Hiyanaki Yashara. Yoroko Yashara. We speak your will, O oh God, your will to be done. In the name of Jesus, Thank 
you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yoro ko yeshen. Yoro ko yeshen. Yara kisiera. Yara kisiera. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Yoro ko yeshera. Right now, I want you to pray for your city. I want you to pray for your city. Plead the blood. Plead the blood of Jesus upon your city. That every part of your city will be safe where you live, where you go, to keep it safe. Because we have the authority. We have the authority in the name of Jesus. Lord, oh God, by the power of your name, by the authority of your word, we lose your covering over the city of Lake Forest. In the name of Jesus, Yoro Yasha, Yala we plead your blood upon the city of Lake Forest, oh God. Let there be no infections there. In the name of Jesus, Yala Jesus, Yoro Ko Yasha, Hiyala Kisiera, Yoro Ko Yashara, Hiyala Kiyashara, Yoro Ko Yada Siera, Hiyala Kiyashara, Yoro Ko Yashara, Hiyala Kisiera, Yoro Ko Yashara, Yoro Ko Ya, Hiyala Kisiera, Hiyala Kisiera, Yoro Ko Yashara, continue. Continue, Yoro Ko Yasha, Yara Kisiera, Yoro Ko Yasiaha, Yoro Ko Yashara, Yara Kiasiera, Stand in the gap, Yara Kisiera, you have authority, stand in the gap, pray, pray in the spirit, Yara Kisiera, Yoro Ko Yashara, in the tongue that he has given you, Yara Kiasiera. Pray, Yara Kisiera, Yoro Ko Yashira, Hiyara Kisiera, Yoro Ko Yashira, Hiyoro Ko Yashira. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hiyoro Ko Yashira, Hiyoro Ko Yashira. I pray your covering, O God, over this church building, O God. I plead your blood upon the spiritual lighthouse building, O God and the body of Christ, Yoro Ko Yesha. Over each one of them, O oh God, every member, of oh God, of the Lighthouse Church, Yoro Ko Yesha. Hiyara Kiyama Yashira. In the name of Jesus, your strength, your covering upon the body. In the name of Jesus, Yoro Ko Yesha. Hiyara Kiyama Yashira. Yoro Ko Yashira. I lose strength upon you. I lose strength upon you even as you intercede. Yara kisira. Yoro ko yashira. Yoro ko yashira. Hiyara kisira. Yoro ko yashira. Yoro ko yasha. Kiyama yasha. Hiyara kisira. I awaken the sleeping giants in the body of Christ. Yoro ko yashira. I call upon you to wake up, Yara Kisiera, to exercise your authority, Yara Kisiera. I lose boldness upon you, Yara Kiyasha, Yara Kiyama Yashara, Yoro Ko Yashara, to pray in faith, Yara Kisiera, Yoro Ko Yashara, Yara Kisiera, you stand on his word, Yara Kisiera Ha Yashara. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Yoro Ko Yashara, I lose liberty upon your people, O oh God, to do your will, O oh God, to do your will, Lord, to 
do your will, Lord, your Lord, to pray without ceasing, O God, to pray continually, O God, as you lead them, O God, your Lord, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. I want to encourage you to realize that you have power. That your prayers are powerful. That God hears your prayer. 2 Chronicles 7, 13. If I shut up the heaven that there be no rain, or if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence among my people, if my people which are called by my name. You are that group of people. Humble yourselves. Pray. Seek your face. Turn yes, from your hallelujah. wicked ways. Then God will heal, hear from heaven. He will forgive our sin. And he will heal our land. You've heard that from Vice President Pence. He's re referencing scripture. He believes the word of God. And so I want to encourage you as you keep on praying, would you meditate on this word? As you have time now, you're not working, at least not physically in the office. You have a little leeway, a little time. Use it to think about God. Use it to meditate on the word of the Lord. Meditate on God. And if you meditate, you will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water whose fruits, whose leaves will not wither. Yes, you have power with God when you pray. The Bible says that he looks for a man. He looks for a woman that would stand in the gap and make up the hedge that he would not destroy but he found none. Let it be named among the lighthouse. Let it be named among the apostolic one God people that God could find somebody in our midst that would stand in the gap and make up the hedge that would keep the hand of God from destroying. In the name of Jesus Christ, realize you have power. Realize you have authority and God is looking for somebody that would make up that hedge. And as you keep praying, endeavoring to pray without ceasing, I want you to read in your Bible this week when God began to bargain, excuse me, when Abraham began to bargain with God for the salvation of Lot in Sodom and Gomorrah. The cry of Sodom and Gomorrah came up before God and he could not ignore it anymore. And his righteousness demanded judgment. And Abraham, knowing that God was about to judge, began to bargain with God. He started with 50. He went all the way down to 10. And God said, for the ten, if you could find ten righteous, for the sake of the ten, I will spare the city. Jesus. I believe there's more than ten. And if we bind together, God will hear our prayer. Yes, yes. Would you pray one more time as we come to the conclusion of this prayer service? Amen. As we dismiss from this place, but not from prayer. Not from communing and thinking and communicating with God, Father. Lord, for the tenth sake, you said you will spare the city. We stand in the gap as your people. Your people called by your name, humbling themselves. Humbling ourselves, praying, seeking your face, turning from our wicked ways here from heaven. Lord, spare for the sake of ten, O God. Forgive, O Lord. Stand in the gap. Lord, here we are, God. We stand in the gap.
camp, Lord, covered by your blood, your blood that heals, your spirit that upholds, the power of prayer, oh, that restores, oh God, and the shield of faith that protects, oh Lord, we stand in the gap. I want to continue. I want to encourage you to continue praying. I want to encourage you to continue seeking the face of God. I want to encourage you all throughout your day to think about the Lord, to meditate upon the Word and the goodness of God, and don't cease praying. Don't stop praying. Keep praying in the name. In the name of Jesus. Oh, we dismiss from this place, but not from the presence of the Lord. I want to encourage you, if you feel the spirit of prayer, just continue to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, God bless you, amen, tune in Sunday, we're going to broadcast from this place, in Jesus' name, hallelujah, God.